Wow, look at that snow. Gosh, this area is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, I'm home. All right, back on the trail. Oh, you gotta love 360. First of all, I'd like to apologize for that. I didn't have enough lighting. It didn't look entirely realistic at all, but you know what though? 360 is still cool. Now back to the electronics gear I'm taking. This is a Sony RX100 Mark V. I've had it for a few months and on my trip to Mount Rainier, I scuffed up the corner closest to us here. This is what I'll be using for all my photos and all my video, well, most of everything. Yeah, I was about to start recording, but the camera's out of battery, so I guess I'm gonna have to hog one of those batteries. Here are all the electronics I'm gonna bring. On the left side here is everything I will bring with me in the beginning. And on the right side are things I'm gonna trade out at either Kennedy Meadows area or if something breaks, like a spare tripod, because I'm testing out this one. But who knows if it's gonna last? We'll have to see. All right, let's go over every item. Uh, I don't want to bore you too much, but it might be pretty boring. This is a solar panel. It's generic. There's no label on it. It's rated at 10 watts, and I did measure it with a meter. In direct sunlight, it, come, it pull, pulls in like 8 eight watts or so. So that's pretty good. So I expect about 4 hours of indirect sun. So I might get, what is that, about 20 eight watts at 3.7 volts maybe nine amp hours charged per day so we'll go with like six which is pretty good um so every three days i can fully charge it this is a 16,750 milliamp wrap power so maybe every three days i can fully charge this but i'll be draining it slowly i think it'll get me going for several weeks really um but eventually this will drain in nothing and then I'm gonna have to go to town and charge it up. But that's okay, because I'll still go to town every once in a while for resupplies. I just don't want to sit in town too long. And this is a dual port. There's no quick charge in or out, standard charging speeds. And I do have a four port RAV or anchor with a quick charge and three plain ones. Quick charge would be for my phone, one would be for the battery pack, wherever I wind up. And the other two are probably for the camera batteries because they eat the most, or the inReach. I have an awful lot of electronics to charge. Uh, the this will need charging. <laughs> that, that, these. Well, that's not that, but anyway. So that's that. It is quite heavy though. I don't know if you could see I run on there 5.8 ounces. It's, I wish I could find a lighter one. I don't know. With that, I'm bringing two longer USB cables. Especially one will be for charging with this strap to my backpack and from a wall to a desk you kind of need a longer one and two shorter ones and I will bring a little USB type C adapter that's the type of adapter that the GoPro requires and here's the GoPro speaking of it's only four ounces um, just with the clip and this, it's great for taking time-lapse photos. I couldn't tell you how easy it is to do it. It's small, light. You can plug in a battery pack right here. So while it's taking the time-lapse, you can let it run for hours. It's crazy. And it's simple to use. It takes great, great quality video. You could decide what angle. So if you want really wide, like the old GoPros are known for. But you could set it to a more normal field of view. So um, I was thinking about not taking it, but it's so great for time-lapse because while I'm getting time-lapse, I like to actually sit and edit videos because this kind of thing, time-lapse takes a couple of hours to get some hour to two hours. Um, but I do want to get a lot of time-lapse though because I just love time-lapse. So get rid of that. My phone will be the S7 for now. I don't know when S9 is coming out. I don't want to get the S8 because I've had this for a little over two years now. I'm eligible for a new phone, but I don't know. I have everything on here. I kind of maybe want the S9 just for the better battery life. But I do have everything on here already. I don't know. 
think about it later. This here is only 1.8 ounces. It is a little heavy and it's just a two prong. And I got this because uh, I saw some photos where on power strips. Things were plugged in like this and taking two slots. Um, I really didn't want to be the jerk that takes two or two slots. So I thought I'd get this and then just plug it in. Or there's a chance you come upon a power strip with just one slot, but there's no way to plug in something like this. And you just do this, plug it in. Um, we'll see how long I need this. I might just send it back because it seems like that is on nobody's list. <laughs> Nobody has thought of this. Probably because it's dumb to bring. We'll see. We'll see. I'll just bring it with. It's not very expensive, so I might just, I don't know, do something with it. Anyway, this is that Rav Power. This is the case for my um, Sony RX100. I, <laughs> I brought that thing to me with my, on my Mount Rainier trip, and I dropped it uh, a couple times. There's some marks all over it, so I want to keep it safe. And this is a Night Eyes uv flashlight um some things really glow when you shine uv light at it especially scorpions and i saw in some people's videos <laughs> they have hiked the deserts and the scorpions look so awesome when they're in uv so i want video footage of that and this weighs i have i do have a scale right here next to me a whopping 0.35 ounces and the battery's not gonna last long but you don't really use it a lot so I do want to bring this with me that'd be cool this is an Olight H1R it's a rechargeable but I'm gonna put a regular lithium battery in it uh, just because you could buy those anywhere and this will be like I'm not gonna say my backup but I found I do like hiking with the light strapped to my chest strap because it keeps the bugs away from your face so I might do that once in a while um, We'll see. It's only 1.8 ounces. I don't know. I might send it back home. This is the Petzl RXP. It's well. It's the one that um, changes light intensity as you get further away or closer. I love it. I've used it on every trip, and I love that it can adjust like that. And when it's when you look far, it goes. It shoots pretty far. Um, the only catch I found is if you're wearing it. And a bug comes in and flies right up into it. It dims right away. So it'll, when there are a lot of bugs around, they'll dim and go bright. Dim and go bright. And it's kind of annoying. But we'll see how that works out. This is a little USB light. I, I'm bringing this one just because I like to take 0.25 ounces. I like to take night pictures. And I figure I like it when the tent's lit up. And then you can see the stars. It's a little too bright, but I was going to just plug it in here and then take pictures. Um, we'll see what I do with it. Came free with the, one of the flashlights. This, and now, alright, so this is my inReach. I have not turned it on. I have not activated it. Uh, it's regular Explorer. Um, I'll do that. I don't know if I want to do it in February or maybe start it in March 1st start the contract on March 1st but it's a emergency beacon signal so you flip it over and you hit the button and then you can text people although you got text with these arrows not the best and this one I mostly got because I want my family to track me uh, I guess my sister got really worried one time I was hiking where there's fire everywhere but um, that way they can know where I am within I was gonna think 30 minutes I'll set the beacon and my Parents and then they could ping it to see where I am at any time. And <laughs> I want to say I will text them here saying I'm at camp. But I know I'll forget and I don't want them to freak out when I forget. So I'm just going to tell them if I don't move for four days, maybe a week, then worry? I don't know. We'll see. They shouldn't really worry. Here's my Fitbit 1. I chose this color because nice and bright because I will drop it. This is a charger. I had a normal Fitbit, but the Fitbit One battery lasts forever. The normal Fitbit, you may think the battery lasts a long time when you hike, or when you walk 10, 15,000 steps a day. But when you talk, uh, when you hike like 49, 50,000 steps, they only last like a day, and then they die. And these need service to sync with your phone, 
So if you don't have service for a week and the battery dies, believe me, it throws everything off. It's horrible. I might return it. I just want to bring it in the beginning uh, so I could be like, hey, I walked this many steps in a week. Anyway. So this is my 256 gig USB drive. There's nothing special about it. It just slides out. You can plug it into here. Oh, if you get it right, okay. And you can plug in an SD card on the other side. And you can actually transfer data from a micro SD or SD card to here. So my intention, <laughs> I have these crazy plans <laughs> laid out because I want all these photos. But with the 360 camera, it does this stitching on the phone. So I'd like to stitch it onto the phone and copy it here. And once I get 200 gigs or so, uh, before then I'll have my sister mail me the other one. Then I'll mail this one back. And I have a NAS at home, and I'm just going to have her copy all the stuff to the NAS, and we'll kind of rotate the USB drives. The same will go for the SD cards. We'll kind of rotate through. I do have enough. If nope, let me pull this out. And that's that. For the SD cards, on my recent trip to Mount Rainier, I went kind of crazy. I recorded about 40 gigs worth over two weeks. So I'm hoping I don't record more than 64 gigs a month. And if that's true, just the cards here alone will get me through the entire trip. But I do have other cards over there that I'll have her send back to me. And we'll rotate it out again. Although as I fill them up, I'm going to mail them home because there's a good chance I'll destroy them. And there's some micro SD cards either for the 360 camera or the GoPro. Um, I might not take all of them, maybe just a couple. We'll have to see. Here are the batteries for the 360 camera and little charger. Pretty nice. And then batteries for the Sony RX100. It chews through batteries like crazy. So I'm bringing three and then one in the camera. And that should last me quite a while. We'll see. And. This is my splendid 360 camera. Woo! So this is the front. This is the back. I put little air, like wind noise reduction things on there. And the problem with this camera is if you ever drop it, you're almost always going to drop it on a lens. So I'm hoping I don't destroy it before I get to the cool parts. We'll see. But so far I've taken some photos and videos and it's fantastic. I do have it attached to a little GoPro GoPro mount. That way it makes it easy for me to just whip it out, slide it on, and I could start doing my thing. As for this tripod, it took me forever to decide about which tripod to take. I thought about taking the Gorilla Pod, like this guy. Um, this part up here on this grill pot is heavy, but if you don't take it, you got to adjust the legs to get the angle just right. But with this, it weighs just about the same. 13.6 ounces, 12.8 ounces, and plus with the GoPro mount. So it makes it easy to quickly attach and detach. The thing I like about this, well, <laughs> this originally came with this right here. As you can see, it sticks out quite far and it would have messed up. Well, it would have been in every 360 photo easily. And also by replacing this with this little bolt I bought from Home Depot, it wound up saving 0.8 ounces. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. No. It's no big deal. I think I offset the 0.8 with this guy here. But shorter and hides away from the 360 photo. Now with this tripod, I don't know if you've seen it before, it folds out and you think it's a short one. And sure, you're not gonna be able to strap it to trees or anything. So that's a shame. But the legs do come out. Quite a bit. And I've measured it. When you even fold the legs out and stand it up, it measures just about four feet. That's pretty good. So that's the tallest 
lightest tripod I found so far online. Um, it slides into itself here and the problem is once I'm guessing once it's exposed to a lot of real fine sand it's going to be near impossible to slide in and out. We'll have to see but I mean it does slide in pretty tight. I don't know, we'll have to see. And if that's the case, I'm gonna have this sent out to me. Although, I would prefer to have a taller tripod. I might just buy an extra one of these. Because for 360, I don't wanna put it less than a foot off the ground, so everything is, you're just staring at the ground. It's not as nice. I think you need a taller tripod. But for 12.8 ounces, this is, this will work. I just hope this lasts. Now, these all come as a kit, basically. Yes, I did write 4.25 ounces there. This is a USB Type-C power delivery power supply. And I did measure it to see that it can deliver full power, power delivery speeds to this. So it feeds it at 24 watts, which is pretty good. Actually, 28 watts, which is uh, better than two, the two, two end types. So this is pretty fast, and I only have one out in this part. This is the 26800. It is heavier, <laughs> but I will return to solar panel once I get to, I believe, Northern California once I get out of the Sierra Nevada. That's my plan right now, because there'll be a lot more trees up there. But So these will be with, together with that, and these are extra storage cards, SD cards and another USB drive. It's all my electronics. If you ever do get that same tripod I got, you can just go to Home Depot and get one of these. This is threaded at 1032. I got this kit because they didn't sell to sell the bolts separately, but you just need one of these and one bolt. Um, this is, what, two inches? You don't need anything longer than that. And it works really well. It's kind of it's got some texture here. Um, hopefully I can still grip it after a while, but... One of the nice things about the RAF powers, at least the two I have, is you can charge the battery as well as plug in things here and you can charge other things. Now I found it only outputs about 500 milliamps, so it's pretty weak. So you can't be charging your phone off it, although it'll take forever if you try. And it will slow down the overall charging of the battery, so it's going to take longer. So 16, 7, 500, if it's taking eight hours to charge, it'll take more. So this is how I'm going to plug my stuff in. There's a Fitbit right off camera. And they're all charging. Here's a better example. Well, I moved this one off of this onto here, and you can see both batteries are charging off this while that's charging at the same time. Phone's charging, bunch of charging, whole bunch of charging. 